Hello everyone, welcome again in this video. I'm going to show you demonstration of another Spring Boot application. And uh, as a core technology, we are using Java here. So uh, in Java for the backend, we are using a Spring Boot. And JPA, have an it with JPA, we can say. So we are using also have an it and JPA. And for uh, it's Hibernate, okay. And uh, I don't know. Uh, for the front end, it's using HTML, CSS, uh, and the, the, the tool we have like JSP, JST, JSP, JSTL. So, uh, these are the libraries and front end technology we are using. It's a Maven application. So, we have form.xml to manage the dependencies. It's following a MSQ architecture to store the information in the back end. It's using MySQL database. It's, we have tables here into the uh, college management, achievement, equations, resources, grievance, and user. Three types of roles are there. So one is HOD, faculty, and student. So multiple students can register over there. HODs and register faculties also to users are there. In a while, we'll run the application and see the uh, features of every user, what roles they can perform over there. So <clears throat> if you have already taken this project from Codeman, you will get the installation in this condition. After that, you need to follow this demo in order to run the application at your machine. So if you need this, you can buy the project from Code1 directly and you can connect us over the WhatsApp, email or Skype. So we can provide the complete remote support to you to set up the application at your machine. And after that, you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application. So we have remote support, so it means we will help you to run the application by any desk for Zoom at your machine. Uh, okay, so this is the runner class, and in order to run it, right click on this class, go to run as, run it as a Java application, and sometime you will see the server will start and occupy on a so on a particular port number. So when you see this console, it's launching the college man, uh, college management application, and we'll start the Spring Boot server. You can see the messages in the console right now; they're coming. So it's starting on eight zero eight zero. And uh, once you will see the message is uh, Tomcat is started on a particular port number. This message, it means if you if you can see this message, it means the application is working fine and it's started the server. Tomcat server is started now. Now you have to open this application to property file under the resources folder, and then we have created a commented URL here. You can copy this URL in case you are using different port numbers. So update the port here as well. And then you can run the application, open your browser, and enter the URL on the, the on, on your browser. So what you will see, this is the home page over here. We have about us page here, and two options as a login, as a faculty login and a student login. <clears throat> and uh, let's log in by a faculty or a student and see what they can do over there. First, I'm going to log in as a like like if we have another user as a HOD. So you can log in as a HOD as well from the same uh, login. So let me show you um, here. We have a name, password, role name, username. Let's say we have this handy as a username here as a HOD. And I just enter the password. This is available over there. So this is the HOD user. And what this user can do, this user can add a new faculty. So uh, to add the faculty, we have to fill up this form. Let's say I just enter the name email id username password phone number and gender and uh, father's name mother's name and the address all the fill and click on the save this registration successfully if i check the view list i can check the list here in this list we have added the new faculty if i want to delete the record i can click on this button to delete it now let's say i want to delete this faculty so i just click on the delete and now it's deleting the record here into the student list same we can perform we can add the new students over there we can view the list the student list and here we have add resources so i can add a resources over there let's say i want to add a new resource here i can link uh, i can add a link of any resources if i have online article let's say so let's say i want to add any article let's say i know java web project configuration i want to add this link or the link of any pdf as a note so i can save it 
and it will be display me here under the e resources list so i can view this link from there i can also delete the record from here similarly we can add a questions over here subject name subject code and we'll ask for the subject code questions again we have to enter the link and this will be linked into the e-question list here we can raise any complaint related to any faculty so here we have option add faculty complaint so enter the usa number no, whatever the complaint number we can enter the category related to and description and this thing will be displayed here into the list of domains uh, list of complaint list whatever the achievement is done by any user we can add here we can check the list of achievements here apart from that if uh, i'm going to log in as a faculty we have seen the different options so let's say we have second user as a faculty here uh, so i'm going to log in with this what a faculty can do over there our faculty have almost same the op same same options so faculty all the have access access to the student the notes the e-banking uh question bank and complaints uh, and achievements so faculty and admin or we can say that HOD have a similar roles and options over there for the students what a student can do so let's say we have this record as a student this is the new student over here so i'm going to log in this student let's see what a student can do over here i just enter the username password as a student so a student cannot add or perform crude operation delete operation that admin can perform so a student can check the resources over there available um, that is added by the admin or faculty also they can check the question list they can view the complaints and if they want to raise any complaint they can raise the complaint from here they can check the achievements they can add the achievement they can check the list of achievements over there so that's it about the college management project again i'm reviewing the technology we are using mysql workbench the version is eight and uh, for the front uh, for the development side is id i'm using eclipse with the latest version of uh, jdk 1.8 or we can use 11 as well like it's not a uh, latest version but currently the project is running on a 1.8 if you want to change it it can be work on 11 as well uh apart from that is following the complete uh, complete embassy architecture so configuration the, like configuration a spring configuration is available here controllers there DAOs are there ddo exceptions form services and utility and for the front end side it has jsp uh let me show you and web 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 inf so here we are managing the uh, jsp pages styles.xml to manage the layouts and that's it so if you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp skype or email so just connect with us and don't worry about our setup and setup and configuration so we will provide a completely more support to set up the complete machine at your uh, uh at your machine uh also the tools and technology features functionality will be same as source in this demo